What is up people, we are back on MTGO for a new Eldritch Moon Draft. This pack is pretty weak, like there's nothing I'm super happy to first pick. I think the two best cards are uh, Nebelgast, Nebelgast, Herald and Wretched Grief. Um, everything else is quite mediocre, I mean. Graph Harvest is just too slow, Cleaver is bad, Soul Separator is too slow, all those two drops are bad, Strange Augmentation is awful, Wailing Ghoul is awful, Paladin is fine but not really something you want to first pick, Bloodbriar same, and Survival is same, same story. And this place is funny but kinda hard to use. Um, I think during the spoiler, when I did not notice that well, I would have said that Herald is just much better than Grief, but actually now I think I like Grief more. There are a bunch of one damage or uh, you know minus one effect in this in the in this set that really uh, makes the one toughness creature weak and wretched grief is just amazing. That that card has cl clearly overperformed for me and my opponent so far, so I'm willing to first pick that. Okay, interesting stuff. Uh, I thought grizzled angler would be amazing. Actually, it's kind of hard to make work I think, though I already have one colorless creature so you never know. This pack is really interesting because I have three very solid blue three drop, pretty close in power level and a noose constrictor. Um, I think the the blue three drop are good enough that they should be the peak of our noose constrictor just to stay in color. Now it's really hard to tell which one is better. I don't think it's the angler even though I already have a wretched grief. And between Gas and Scab, I'm, I'm unsure. Like, Scab has been so good. It's another card that really overperformed during, uh, you know, the every, every match I, I've played so far. I think it's just better than Angler, I'm pretty sure about that, unless you have like thousands of colorless creature, which is not that likely. Gas is decent, a bit more defensive. I think I'll go with the, the Scab. That, that thing is just so good. Okay, two best options here I think are Thermo Alchemist and Scavenger. You don't really want to stay in blue and pick a weak two drop. Um, I think I'm gonna pick the Alchemist in case uh, this is open. This might be a good sign. Um, I like blue red more than blue black anyway, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, well, that pack is quite awful. Cryptic Fragment is not the worst. Actually, it's when it flips, it becomes really awesome. I mean, the losing a life is really a drawback, but this thing flipping is just amazing. Uh, that pack is really unappealing, though. Had I taken the black card, I could see picking Foul Bloods here, but it's not great. I think I'll go with Fragment, but I don't really love it. I think it's still a better option than anything else, though. I guess you could go with Grapple and see if Blue Green uh, emerges open. Fragment is fine, it's also decent in blue green emerge. It it fits any deck. I don't love that pack. I guess Scour the Laboratory is fine though. I just don't love the insati insatiable gorgers at all. Like uh, the drawback attacking each combat is really annoying and this gets blocked by a, a lot of three power creature. Right down might be one of the best cards, but I'm not really in these colors. I guess there's another scavenger, I, I just missed that. Maybe I should pick that and see if black is open actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably the peak. The second scavenger might be a sign that I should go black. Uh, and scour is fine, but kinda unappealing. Advanced teaching. Okay, I'll pick that. I mean, certain death is fine. Hunter could be decent, but it, it suffers the, the same issue with uh, the, than the Nebelgas Aerial. Like, if they don't have any of the one. 1 damage, minus 1 uh, toughness effect, it's fine, but otherwise it can really be real weak. Like, if they have a, a Smoldering Werewolf, or, I don't know, Tooth Collector, or... Th there really are uh, enough 1 tough one, one damage effect that this makes the this kind of card uh, kind of bad. Also, it gets completely blanked by cards like Spectral Reserve, so... In, in the right deck, uh, at the right time, in the right game, it can be good, but it's, it's not very... Uh, it, it's weak to a decent amount of stuff. And anyway, I think Stitch Wing is just a better card. Unless you are really, you know, spirit beat down, which I'm not really. At least not yet. I think here it's gonna be Haunter, though. I think it's better than take Inventory, Turn Aside, 
or Born Malevolence, Malevolence is fine, and I guess it's another card that kills the Hunter and stuff like that, but I'm not sure that I'll be black, and I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna be blue, so... Hunter it is. Uh, I like Dragonder more than Chilling Grasp, that's just a fact. Uh, you really have to be extremely aggressive and be able to put a lot of uh, creature onto the board to make that, that better. I, I, I really kind of think I'm of many scenarios with this, where this is better. I guess Chilling Grasp does give you more tempo, but you you lose card advantage wise unless you can madness this out. I just love Dragonder more. Uh, Dragonder is never really bad as I could see um I could I can really see Chilling Grasp going poorly depending on what happens in the game. Okay, Grafrat is fine. I have a scavenger, so maybe we'll be doing that. Maybe not. Who knows? Ooh, the Angler wield that sweet. Uh, Angler is also potentially decent with the st Stitchwing, so we'll do that. And I have one colorless card. I'm gonna pick Take Inventor. I just hate Fogwalker, and if the other one wields for some reason, it'd be great. Uh, Convolute is fine type of option. It's also main deckable, I think, in the set. Well, the other one did not wheel, which is not, uh, you know, I did not really expect it to wheel. Um, so I'm blue. I have eight playables in one color, which is nice. And then, well, I can go in many different ways, depending on what I, what I open here. Like, if I just open a very good green or white card, I could just abandon black or red. Or a good black or red card could, could solidify, solidify me in, in those colors. We'll see. I think the best cards here are blue, though. I mean, Spreading Flames and Thermo Alchemist are solid, but I don't think I should settle for for a second color when I can just pick something very solid in my current colors. In my in my I, not current color, but main color, I guess. Um, I think I like Scab more than the other two cards. I do have a fair amount of three drop already, though. And Stitchwing is kind of nice with Fragment if you you can cast it on turn four. Uh, in Scab is definitely better than Cultist, even though I have a Wretched Grief. Now it's a matter of Stitchwing versus Scab. I haven't played with that card enough to really assess how good it is. I would say it's solid, but just as a three four fly for five, I think it's quite solid, even without the ability. Um, you could also pick Spreading Flames. I think I'm gonna go with Stitchwing though, and hope to be one one of the two uh, three drop creature. One well, since there is another good three drop in blue here, I think I'm glad I picked the scab because three scab would have been nice, but I don't really need them. And again, I think this is about the same power level as Scavenger, but this lets me stay in mono blue for now, so seems better. Uh, well now. Hmm, interesting. Best card is Boon of Emrakul. But I'm starting to wonder if I shouldn't just not pick the Hunter. I, I like Hunter more than Angler here. I have only one colorless creature and... I'm starting to assemble a decent amount of flyers, which could be something good. Now, Boon of Emrakul is just better, but I don't have any reason to go black yet that badly. It's close. <laughs> I kind of like picking the Hunter and being, you know, blue beat down. And stay out of anything else for now. Okay, so now I will choose a second color. Uh... Bombardment is nice, Cultist is nice, but it's between Werewolf and Haunted Dead. And it's kinda close. I don't have any 4 drops, so both cards are amazing. Currently my black is slightly better than my red. The thing is, Werewolf is very good against me, so if I pick it, it's also kinda nice. That being said, Haunted Dead does synergize a bit better with the deck in general. I have some other zombies and some other, you know, of this kind of effect, discard stuff. It's really interesting and close pick. I think Werewolf is the best card, but it's kind of close. Uh, Haunted Dead is, is easier to cast though, 
and I'm I'm gonna be mostly blue with a touch of black or red. I think I'm gonna with gonna go with Haunted Dead. It it's really close though. I could see picking the the werewolf here. Uh, Alchemist would have been fine had I picked the werewolf, but I have some nice option in blue or black anyway. I think I'm gonna go with a third hunter. I think they get better in multiples. Again, as I mentioned, you 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 are pretty weak to those one damage effect, but if they don't have them, the hunter can really apply a decent amount of pressure. And certain death is fine, but not super exciting. Ooh, Scuttler is murder. What is it like sixth pick murder? What the hell? Scuttler would have been fine, but I guess I don't have many instant or sorceries yet. Either way, murder is amazing. Now I'm really glad I end up in black because that card is just is just amazing. Okay, and Gavin Unallowed is looking solid in this deck, I think. And I'm lacking for drop. I guess Coward the Laboratory is fine, but I like I like Unallowed more. At least right here. Ooh, another grief. That's sweet. I don't have many good psych outlet. I, I guess Haunted Dead is a good psych outlet, and that's a reason why it might be a better pick than uh, the Werewolf anyway. Also nice for my grizzled grizzled angler. It's really sweet. Really sweet. I did not expect that match. Uh, I guess I'll pick that, but I don't really want to play that. Ooh, Scavenger's Wield. Okay, yeah, I'm really gl glad I, I went black. Also, having two scavenger kind of makes it less. Uh, I mean, it it makes the the hunter dying to to some one toughness effect a bit less uh, annoying. Deck is looking super solid. Um, board malevolence or take inventory number two. So I'll get. Yeah, I think it's board malevolence. Uh, like if I if I were if I was blue red with let's say two alchemists, I could see picking the well. If I was blue red, I would not uh, need the malevolence anyway. But the point is, uh, playing two take inventory in this deck doesn't seem good. Like in blue red is fine probably, uh, but here it's just gonna draw me one maybe two sometimes. It's not it's just not looking great. Cemetery recruitment is looking fine in this deck. Ooh, a cursed witch, that's great. Always watching is extremely difficult to beat, but which is a, a four drop which I need a very decent card to use Wretched Grief with. Uh beating be very good too, but I think it's it is the witch here. And hopefully we'll not face the the dude with um the um uh the always watching that card is just too good. I do have a decent amount of flyers though, which means I'm. It's less annoying, but you know, e even if you are flying, you will get destroyed by by their ground creature, which are pretty big. I think I like compiling the terrains a fair amount here. Uh, I have, I think five or six zombies, at least five, six, I guess. Currently, I'm playing six zombies, so it's it's, it's a fine. I mean, even without zombies, it's still playable. Uh, and I have so many five drop that then gun missing is not really an option. And I think mutation is just worse than the Terence. And got a bit worse with uh, Eldritch Moon just because uh, decks tend to be less aggressive, which makes this card less good. Best card here is Pack Guardian, obviously, but I'm not really in green. Reckless color. Can I? do some good stuff with that. I mean, it's a decent card in general. I don't have many madness uh, cards, but you can discard a Haunted Dead or a Stitch Wing. Uh, really makes me weak to one toughness damage effect, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like there's another option. Sleep paralysis is great. It fits my card very well. I could use some more removal. I think people are underrating that. It's just a, it's just a very good removal. I guess with emerge it makes it a bit less good, but you know this is basically a pacifism. Um, investigation is kind of sweet with flyers and with three hunter, but I think without the green it's it's ma it's much worse. I guess I could splash green a fragment, but you know sleep paralysis is just a very safe pick and fits my curve well. I don't see any reason to pick a, a slightly off color card that's not really better. Ooh, bunch of nice options here. 
Um, I think my deck likes the scab more than the Forgotten Creation. Now I wonder if Bidding is not good. Like, it's really good with Haunted Dead and uh, Stitch Wings. It's also really good with the Reckless Color. And picking this really makes me super, super weak to one. I guess I'm gonna go with Bidding. But all the three cards would be good for my deck. I don't think I really want to pick Fragment, I mean play Fragment, I don't really need that. My curve is pretty stacked so I don't need like, for example, to jump from 3 to 5. It's just the weakest card in my entire deck. The Graph Rat does combo with, I guess I have two Scavengers so it makes up for a decent Graph Rat. Recruitment is a fine card but something I can cut. So this might end up being my main deck unless I get some nice stuff here. Well... Rented Rat and Ghoul Color Accomplice does qualify as a nice, nice, nice card. I think I, I, I don't want to pick Rat because it's one toughness and also uh, I think it's better than Accomplice in general but when you have two Emerge cards I think uh, Accomplice is actually quite appealing. Uh, it does work really well with Ratchet Grief. Choke Destroyer could be an option. I have enough playable that I think picking a, uh, a, uh, a bit of fixing is fine. I would pick Estuary over those three cards, I think, but Accomplice makes my Wretched Grief better and also synergizes well, decently well with color and with a, quite a good good amount of cards in my deck. I think it's it's worth it. I guess I'll pick the Revenant for it's decent in some matchup. It's it's some some deck tends to have difficulties beating that. Ooh, another Sleep Paralysis. Sign me in. I have a bit too many playables, but I guess that's that's something I'm fine with. I don't think I will ever side in Silent Observer. I guess Spiteful Motif could be threatening, potentially. I guess I'll pick Gun Missing for my side. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. So the Rat is the weakest card of my deck, and it's not something I really want in the deck, but with two scavenger, I think the card becomes actually quite solid. I could cut Cavanian allowed. Uh, I have enough four drop, and that's my weakest four drop. Oh, it's difficult. The wretched griff are not not great, but I do have two decent sack outlet. That card is just since you draw a card, sacrificing uh, something is not even that bad. Like, it's not card disadvantage, that's the the main thing. Grizzled Angler is mm, medium. Though I guess I can put one of these into the graveyard with Color or Haunted Dead Stitch Wing at some point. Angler is looking fine, I don't have that many 3 drop. I could play Nagging so that I don't I have too many playables though. Uh, it's really difficult to know what I should shift. Maybe it's just board malevolence. The thing is, um, I like board malevolence a decent amount, but quite a good amount of my creature flies, which means using that as a combat rate is not gonna be that easy. Second, I have enough removal, which means I probably don't need. That. I think that in the sideboard against deck that will have some one toughness creature is good. I think I will shave it though. I just have too many cards. Um. And I feel like Gavanian allowed is one of the weakest cards. I don't think I want to cut any of the, of these. Those all those four, all, all of these I want to keep. I think I like Grizzled Angler more than Unallowed in this deck. This is not getting cut. I guess well, Scholar is really decent here. And Graph Rat, I hate that card. I think it's awful. But when you have two Scavenger, it's probably good enough. And I want to keep my hound first. Okay, we'll do that. Curve looking very solid, 66542. Uh, I guess those mostly counts as uh, four drops though. I, the curve is not so high, it's pretty, pretty stacked. It's looking fine. Yeah, I like the deck, I think it's solid. Just removal, good creatures, good curve. Um, 
Mana is gonna be a bit annoying because I have two double black here, but I have more blue and two double blue, but oh well, it's gonna be a 9-8 mana base, I think. Probably not 10-7. I wanna be able to cast that murder and that beating on turn three and four respectively, and I think nine nine blue should be enough to cast my blue blue cards. So alright. Here's for you blue black I guess blue black value. It's not really a zombie deck. It's not an emerge deck either. It's kind of just a bunch of good blue black cards and a bit of card advantage of the scavenger and of some potential uh you know a uh, scholar uh shenan I mean this gives you card advantage, not straight up card advantage like you have more cards, but uh selection is good and if you have a bit of madness it's actually real card advantage. And I have a fair amount of ways to deal with stuff on board, which is also nice. Yeah, the deck just looks solid. I like the curve. So we'll submit. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, you can obviously leave a like. Feel free to leave a comment too, or subscribe to this channel, or share the video. All of these are appreciated. And I see you for round one.